Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ms. Rosanna, this is Daily Rambles. And happy Halloween to everybody. Today we're doing The Flash. We're doing season four? Episode four. Called The Elongated Journey into Night. So we start off the episode with Cisco and Gypsy uh, having a date night. But her dad interrupts. And then we cut to... <laughs> and he attacks Cisco. <laughs> And then the mayor um, does a speech at on the police station. And then Joe and Barry go over the metas and where they came from and who else could be on the else could be on the bus. Then Barry says Joe was glowing, and that's just the theme throughout the episode. Everyone says like you're just glowing today. You look so great. He's like no, not shut up, bye. <laughs> and then um, they have the breacher at Star Labs. And to where he called uh, Barry a um, personal assistant <laughs> and to show him around. And then we have Ralph Dipney. I just want to call him Ralph. Was on the bus and he has his own um, private agency. No, that's right. He Basically, he does like, you know, looks at the dirty pictures of different people and then tells their spouse about what's happening. Private Eye, I think. Oh my god, I'm tired. <laughs> anyway, then we have Barry and Ralph do not get along at all because Joe and Barry went to go talk to him. And then when they leave, uh, two people hang him upside down and he just kind of glides his way down because he's uh, stretched out and just sits the bottom. And there you go. So Barry and Joe see it and take him to Star Labs. And um, Iris freaks the hell out. She just sees a long arm or a long foot in the hallway. She's screaming like a like her someone um like her head cut off. And then uh we have everyone starts arguing and then his arm just dropped and Joe threw up and that's the first time he threw up in like in four years of doing this. <laughs> and that was just funny to me. And then um Breacher does not like Cisco at all. Um He's trying to run him over with coffee because coffee does not available on their planet. That doesn't fly, and he decides he wants to hunt Cisco. He's going to go hunt him. <laughs> and so uh, Cisco literally runs for it, and then it turns out um, the reason why Barry and Ralph don't get on is because Ralph faked evidence and tried to convict this guy when he shouldn't have. And then... Um, as they're going through his place, um, someone put a bomb in the drawer and they just got away just in time. And then we have Caitlin tells Barry to chill out and it's like, look, everyone is freaked out when they first get powers and maybe they can all change into better people. So just chill out. So he kind of agrees to do that. Then Cisco and Wells talk. And about setting up a trap for him. Because they use your brain and set a trap for him. So that's what he does. Uh, so the, so he escapes from him and sets a trap. Or starts building a trap. And then we have Caitlin um, develop some type of serum to help him. And it works. And to where um, he got rid of his uh, pot belly and now has a six pack. I wish that was... Can I have that too? Just saying. Please. And then... Um, <laughs> Then we have Joe and Barry talk to the mayor. It turns out he had an affair. And Black um, Ralph was blackmailing him. And turns and then when the mayor leaves, and also he also said to Joe, like, you're glowing today. So anyway, he um turns but when he leaves after talking to Joe and Barry, he it turns out he's the one that hired the muscle. And he's like, go ahead and kill the other two too. I don't care. Just do it. I want this done. I want this all do it. And then um, when we go back to our labs, Ralph gets pissed at Barry. And so Barry literally just punched him. But uh, he absorbed the punch. So, yeah. And then we have the breacher went to went into the trap. And then Cisco tries to, um, you know, you know how Cisco does. He tries to be all up in it. And it's like, oh, you feel my trap. I'm going to enjoy my time. Blah, blah, blah. But, uh the Breacher literally um, has something from Earth-49 that's like a, some type of magical sword that totally 
just gets rid of the force field and he just got through and so then Cisco runs the for goes to run for it again. And then Barry and Joe drink and then the dirty cops show up and try to kill them, but of course they use super speed to get rid of the bullets and to knock themselves out. And then Ralph meets the mayor at City Hall. Try um he tries is like don't worry about the money, just don't do anything and I won't release the pictures. It's like you're still black man because he's trying to stop, trying to be nicer. <laughs> and he's like, that doesn't make sense. You're trying to blackmail me to not blackmail me, but to blackmail me. I don't know why I just said, but anyway, it makes sense in my head. Okay. Anyway, so uh, that doesn't really work great, but um, Ralph gets shot at, but literally goes to the back of his. I think it went up his nose and just kind of went right back out. So. He's bulletproof, pretty much. So then the Breacher attacks him because he thinks he's a plastoid uh, villain from his planet that got rid of all the crops of coffee. So he got, starts attacking them, and then um, basically um, Cisco interferes and tells him that's not who it is, and you need to bat down. He's what he is because of our team, so you need to stop him and just leave him alone. And then the Flash um, tries to convince Ralph to grab the helicopter because he took Joe hostage, the mayor did. So um, at first he's very, like, I'm not going to do it. Then Barry reveals himself and says, like, look, I just need you to do it. And so he's like, I'm still pissed at you, but I'll, I'll do it. So basically he basically lassos his arm and then grabs the helicopter. And then Barry runs up the arm and then knocks out the mayor and then judge just sports out Lucille's pregnant. I couldn't think of her day for a second. <laughs> and so um and then um we cut to Team Flash celebrates with that and the breacher still hates Cisco but he actually respects him now. And then uh Breacher says like come on Cynthia let's go home <laughs> and uh <laughs> he starts laughing and said that and he's like what's your dad's name then he's like my name is Josh <laughs> so, so he starts laughing and basically says like laugh again I'll, you'll see what happens so that's what Jepsen said too so um, it's still kind of funny though and then um, someone carved on Kate's door it's like we missed you hope to see you soon and left a horseshoe on the ground and then um, Barry and Ralph talk, and Barry wants to train him, and he agrees. And then he asks, like, well, who told you to follow the mayor? And he says, some guy named DeVoe told me to uh, check on him. And then Barry goes back and says, like, oh, okay, this must be the supervillain. <laughs> so now he knows about DeVoe. And that's the end of the episode. Let me tell you, this was a really good episode. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Again, the the comedy aspect of the show, I think, has been on point lately. It doesn't seem forced. It's like a good balance, and I really, really liked it a lot. So I'll give this an A-plus episode. It was really good. And I actually like um, the guy that's playing the elongated man, Ralph. I actually do like that character, so I'm very interested to see where that character goes and develops. So I'm very interested to see what happens with that. And I can't wait for next week. I think it's going to be a really good... I mean, so far, the season's trip, and it'll be really good, to be honest with you. It's doing really good so far. So, um, I think that's going to do it for this um, video. So, if you like this video, please give it a like, comment down below on what you think, and then subscribe for more stuff, because I roll out stuff every single day. Except for sometimes Saturday. <laughs> but, um, okay, um... I want y'all to have an awesome day, and just a quick note before I uh, go, because I got to watch Legends of Tomorrow, then do a video for that. Uh, I'll be doing a movie review for Bad Mom's Christmas. I'm seeing it tomorrow, so look out for that. I might be doing that. It's my first comedy review, so it's going to be very interesting how I do that. I might do it on my phone. I don't know yet. Anyway, bye, everybody.